Hey guys, Mike here. Well, today I'm going to do my first how-to video, and that is how to cut and glue PVC pipe. As we can see here, I will be cutting this here and gluing it into the 90 here. This pump is for, is going to be for my homemade chiller unit. I did this yesterday, but it didn't turn out right, and I didn't like the video, so I'm not going to post that one. I'm just going to delete it and do a new one right now. Uh, a 175 watt mercury vapor lamp is gonna. I'm gonna let it um, get you know heated up a bit more, get more bright, and uh, we'll continue with the video. I do have a frosted bulb in there, so you shouldn't see as much green when it's fully lit. Okay, get back to you in a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Well, I'm simply gonna use my miter box here and a hacksaw to cut this. See the line I've drawn there? Simply gonna line it up with this and cut. So, back to you in a second. Aw oh, man, you guys fell for that. You didn't think I was gonna let you watch? Nah, I'm not like that. So, simply take your hacksaw like you would with a piece of pine wood or whatever you would normally cut with a miter box. Usually it's pine wood for me. And with PVC pipe, just cut. So, with wood, you obviously need to start it like that, but with PVC, no, just cut. And uh, there you go. I'll polish that off and be back in a second. Okay guys, here's the cut. Now, people do say you should take a razor knife and shave this off. What you do first is you want to just get as much of this stuff off as you can with your fingers, like so. I'm doing this one-handed. I don't have a friend with me to hold the video camera. I'm doing this late at night. It is about 12 o'clock at night, and I also don't want to wake my parents up. <laughs> so I'm just trying to be as quiet as possible. Alright, so once you get enough of that off with your um, fingers, it's recommended by me. You take some emery, uh, emery cloth, you know, the plumber stuff, and uh, just sand it down. Um, I guess I'll just show you how to do that. I'll put the camera right here. So, just do first, take it like this. Because the surface does need to be clean for gluing and priming. feels about smooth to me. And if you can, just take your fingernail and get the uh, excess off of that. Side all nice. And uh, there you go. All ready for priming and gluing. Back in a second. Did I mention? Make sure to clean the other side of the pipe when you're done with the cut so you don't have to make three cleans in a row. Okay, guys, I'm back. I went to the other side of my basement away from the furnace so the fumes from these don't build up and the pilot light ignites them. Now, to cover this nice concrete floor, I'm using some scrap wood. Just, um, you know, rather wooden wane coating. <clears throat> Turn it on this side so if anybody wants to use it, it won't stain. Now, I just dry fitted this. You have to use primer. Now, some people say you don't need to use primer for this to work. Well, you don't have to, but the seal won't be as strong and won't last as long if you don't use primer because the glue will not hold up right. Another thing, make sure you don't get this stuff anywhere because it will not come off. As you can see here in my previous fitting or gluings, I've got some of them there. It's not coming off. I'm really not sure. You could try paint thinner. You could try nail polish remover. But uh, yeah, all right. Get back in a second. Oh yes. If you can get the clear, both of these come in clear. This is actually purple, this is actually orange. For you do-it-yourselfers out there, get clear because I'm sure you don't want it on your nice rugs or hardwood floors. Back in a second. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you the proper way to put this stuff on. Alright, get over here. Okay, now, here's the primer, here's the fitting, here's the pipe. Put primer on both sides, here and here. Be gentle, be careful, do not do a sloppy job. Try when you first pick this thing up. Just kind 
do jig a little bit to get some excess off. And if you can, try to do it over this. So I'm going to put that on like that. I'll do a sloppy job. See it's leaking back in the thing. Now do the fitting. Now this stuff does dry quickly. Okay, that's good. Strong fumes, alright. Okay, now I'm done with that. Try not to get this stuff on my fingers here. <clears throat> Stained here, here, and here. So, yeah, gotta be uh, careful with this stuff, ladies and gentlemen. If you can see that. But, since it's not dry yet... Oh, too late. Don't worry, it didn't get any on my finger. That's why I gotta be careful. As I said, <laughs> you know, it's not my fault. It just happens, people. Next, the glue. Now, this is the part you gotta be quick. You have about 10 to 20 seconds before this stuff dries. Actually, 10 to 5 seconds. Alright, when you first take the glue out, uh, out, try to wipe some of the excess off. Now, glue your fitting, like so. Now, glue the inside. And push and twist. Hold, because the pressure of the glue going on both sides, it'll pop back out at you. And it's like an already feel it bonding. Just twist, twist, twist until it locks in place. Now I'm gonna hold it there. And there you go. It's, uh, it's glued. There you go. Oops, I'll take care of that. Yeah, just go around there like that. I don't really care. This is my unit. But, uh, now it's better. Is that better? That's much better. That's the only thing that's a bit sloppy. Don't worry. Actually, the glue will come off over time with soap and water. It actually hardens on you like plastic, and you can basically rip it off the primer. Um, that... <laughs> I'm afraid you're a bit screwed, my friends. Just try some paint thinner or nail polish. I really haven't got any on me yet, so you don't have to worry. But as I said, try to get clear, because if you get that stuff on you, don't worry about it. And that is how to glue PVC pipe. Thank you for watching, and Mike out.